Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start my official coverage of Starpoint Gemini Warlords. This did release, I believe, in May, at the end of May, like May 23rd, May 27th, somewhere in that range. I don't know the exact date off the top of my head, guys and gals. However, I do know that I was on vacation during that time, so I was unable to do the coverage of it. And I did do maybe only one, maybe two, I'm not sure, one or two early access Let's Play episodes as I was going to play through a bit just to kind of get familiar with the game and show you guys what was what. But there were some lag issues and settings issues. I feel like the game, at least in the opening menu, is much smoother. The way I originally had it set, I put it to the highest graphics, and then I started to tone it down until everything was smooth. And it is smooth now, so I'm hoping that this actually plays much better than it did the last time. It is fully out, it is fully released, so all the early access bugs and problems are hopefully dealt with, and it's been over a month since it fully released. So we're on version 1.110.0. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully everything's worked out. Now we're going to hop in, we're going to play. It looks like there are some new things here, which is pretty cool. Before, I believe there was only like three. It was like the campaign, maybe the smuggler's life and destroyer worlds or something along those lines. Now there's several. There's actually, what, five outside the storyline campaign. We're going to play through the storyline anyway because, you know, they spent the time, energy, and effort to make the storyline. I enjoy seeing that kind of stuff. So we are going to play through it. I'm going to read this stuff, and I'm probably going to butcher all the names and everything else. But it's okay because we're going to have fun with it. Anyway, after the aliens, the Ash... was that? Ashriari, I guess? Invaded the soul system and almost completely eradicated the Earth Empire. The remnants of the Imperial forces and civilians alike fled through the star point into Gemini, seeking a safe haven. Most of the newcomers fought to maintain their old ways, desperately clinging to the idea of a grand Earth empire, unmatched in all of the known universe. All the scheming didn't help, as they were ultimately defeated. Unknown to most factions in Gemini, another group of the exiles settled on the planet of uh, Ferenos, something along those lines, and the outer regions, letting go of all traces of the old imperial regime. A new faction had appeared, the Solari Concord. Political discord and fear that the Concord would ultimately become a new incantation or incarnation of the loathed empire has convinced the Exile Council, the leaders of the Solari Concord, that steps must be made to secure the Concord's borders. Icarus, or uh, let's see, they, they say it like the Icarus or the Icarus or something, they say it really bad. Like one dude says it right, everybody else says it wrong, it drives me nuts, it's okay. We're going to step beyond it and go. Uh, the first battleship in the Concord Navy is just about to embark on its trial run. Alright, now it says here, play through the storyline and continue as free roam. After finishing the storyline, you're free to continue playing the scenario as a standard free roam mode. Make it a name for yourself and for your faction. So, I'm eager and excited to get started and do that, so let's hop in and begin. Now, to me, the game looks amazing. It played really well once I got the set, like... There were problems where it was real chuggy and laggy when I was doing the early access coverage. But then there were other parts where it wasn't. So when it wasn't, it was really good. It was fun to play. A little bit difficult at times to you know lock down your opponents and everything else. But we're going to learn how to play this because it's been almost two months since I last touched this. And we're going to have some fun with it either way. So hopefully you guys are on board for that. And yeah, I mean, my, my early access video did quite well with views and everything else. So I'm hoping that... Uh, while I'm a little late to the party, we're still going to be able to bring in a lot of uh, new people that are interested or excited about this game want to see how it is. I'm sure I'm not going to be the greatest player out there, so be aware of that. But we're going to have some fun with it either way. You guys can mock me and laugh. I mean, a lot of people do. It's all part of the charm, right? Either way, here we are in this beautiful, beautiful galaxy created solely for me. And everybody else who gets the game and plays it. So, that that whole thing. Okay. Uh, Fehana region, new home of the Solari Concord. Pretty nice. Pretty nice looking stuff. So there's like a little repair bot or something going on there. Oh, some stuff just flew by. Interesting. And there's some sort of rift opening. Space Station Concordia. Are they sealing the rift or opening it? What are they doing? There's lots of odd things, but a really interesting design. With the stuff, it's 
It's kind of crazy to think. So I guess it's like a docking area. It's crazy to think that people are able to design all these things and make them look so good. I know in, in many building games where you're able to design your own stuff, like Space Engineers, for, in for instance, most of my ships don't look pretty. They, they're functional, but they don't look pretty. So we'll see. Battleship Icarus, Solari Concord, highest engineering achievement. Docking clamps disengaged successfully. Final checkup can commence. SCS Icarus, proceed with departure. Oh, I think they have a affirmative new... command. We're green for departure. They have a new person. Engineering, begin main system startup. I think they have new voice sir. acting. I could be Our wrong. Very sensor grid is online. But I feel like they have new voice acting. That's Powering cool. Powering shields. Powering shields. Detecting minor fluctuations in the shield matrix. Indeed. Fluctuations noted for post-flight examination. Continue with the startup, Icarus. Good, they, they fixed it. He's, he's no longer the Icarus. Engineering, prepare for main engine start on my mark. We'll have to see if the, the female person Engage. that comes in with this, she gives us the Icarus or whatever she says. I'm my excited, guess. burn looks good. No abnormal readings. Nice. Helm, Mark Carson, proceed. Aye, sir. Proceeding as planned. Oh yeah, they definitely upped the voice acting quality. It's nice. They could have hired me. <laughs> they could have hired me. It's, it's all right. I would have probably just butchered it all. It's fine. Good luck, Icarus. Make the Concord proud. Concordia yeah. out. Thank you, Rainer. Icarus to escort ships. Fall in line. All right. Here comes our gal pal. I believe this is the ship that we will be piloting as well. Assume position near the Icarus. I don't remember how to play, so you guys will have to forgive me as we go. Use W, S, A, D, Q, and E to move the ship around. Use the scroll up and down to change speed. Oh, boy. I, I think that's backwards in the way I would want it. It is. All right. Give me one sec, guys and gals. Uh, menu, options, controls. I'm going to have to switch. Is there, hold on, is there a way to invert the Y? Invert camera Y axis. I, I vaguely remember it locking to your mouse. Is that not? No, no, you know what? It didn't. It didn't do that. All right, we'll play around. I might have to come into the uh, options a few times and change it, guys and gals. I do apologize if that is the case. Ah, that's better for me. Now, a lot of people would like it the other way, a bit better. Cyrene, please assume your position. I'm working on it. I'm coming. Glad you could join us, Cyrene. Escort vessels in position. Icarus proceeding to waypoint. Icarus to Cyrene, follow closely but not too close. We don't want to scratch the fresh paint off the first ever Concord battleship in its trial run. It's true. Roger that, sir. We'll be careful. All right. Tara Higgs, huh? Use the left mouse button to lock on an object. Okay. Use the middle mouse button in the follow action. Engaging sunlight. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, is she gonna hit something? Nope. Oh dear. Wow, this is so much smoother than it was. Oh, this is so nice. This looks so good. And I do have stuff down. Some things turned down to medium, just so you guys know there is a, like another level. But I think with recording and everything else, it just it's too much of a strain on uh, on the computer. I'm sorry, I was expecting us to hit that. Concordia, we've reached the first checkpoint. Running checks to see if we're still in one piece. Affirmative. Please run full system diagnostics. The Icarus is still a prototype, an advanced one, but still a prototype. Roger that. He's so protective of the ship. I'd be too, sir, if I designed it. I know, I know, but what's the worst thing that can happen? Engineering the bridge, be advised. Sensors de detect micro fra fractures on the port hull plating. Can't read it now, it's fine, guys. I was like, should I change voices? And I just couldn't decide, so it's fine. Roger, Cyrene, please scan our plating, sir. Uh, as Mr. Trace said, this is still a prototype, and I can't be completely sure the sensors are working properly. I want verification before letting the good cyborg know. Icarus, you're broad broadcasting all frequencies. I may not like your tone, but the idea is sound. Do the scan, Cyrene. Trace out. 
Yes, sir. Scanning the Icarus. I'll relay the info to the Concordia as well. Use the left mouse button to lock on. Middle mouse button, scan. Initiating target scan. Cool. Icarus, your sensor data hey, is Hey, she knows how to say Icarus now. Nice. Copy that, Cyrene. Concordia, are you getting this? Nothing to worry about, Icarus. Damage is minor. Section is noted for overhaul in the next iteration. So great, cool. Great. I'm sure the captain of the next iteration will be pleased. But I'm still dispatching repair drones. Heck yeah, look at those things. There's so many. That's good. So they're going to shore up all the little cuts and scrapes and fractures. Nice. Fleet be advised. Sensor buoys are detecting multiple ships converging on your position. I think we have a little light on the escort. Moving to intercept. All right, this is Negative where Sirene. it came super laggy, Incoming so let's hope it doesn't this time. SCS Icarus. Identify yourself. They don't seem to want to play. They want to kill. Concordia, appraise Venero's security fleet of the situation. We might use their help Fenero's, soon. Venero's, okay. Or maybe Fenero. I don't remember him having the S at the end. Incoming ships. You've entered the territory of the Solari Concord without permission. Identify. Concord territory? You will never have a claim in Gemini, Imperial Burra. Oh, dang. Shields are holding. They clearly mean business. Fleet, Fleet engage. engage. All right. Now let's see if I can completely be terrible at combat like I was the first few times. All right. Uh, space between... Oh, there we go. In cursor modes. All right. Uh, fire at will. Oh boy, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. I do apologize, folks. Um, okay. Is there a way to... Oh, uh, right mouse button to fire light weapons. X to fire heavy weapons. Divide to toggle mark target. I'm not sure what that means. Sounds bad or good, depending on how you look at it. And down you go. Oh, it is so much smoother than it was, though. I'll tell you that much. All right. We fired our heavy weapons, firing several of them. Basically, just sitting here, firing all of our weaponry at this individual, and we're doing okay. So many shots, so little time. All right, down it goes. You attacking me with that? All right, we're coming in. Oh no! Whoops! What the hell was that, Higgs? Hunting down hostiles, sir. Doing it blindly will only get you killed. You're a good captain, Terra, and the Concords need good captains more than ever. That ship wasn't doing any real damage. Your frigate, on the other hand, could have. True. Aye, sir. It won't happen again. Concordia, the situation has been handled. Uh-oh. Concordia? Sir, our comm array was damaged in the collision. Long-range communication is not possible. Hmm. And we're also detecting some damage on the propulsion. Let me try, sir. Concordia, this is the Sirene. Please respond. Jammer. Attacked. Concordia's under attack. Cyrene, get to the station as fast as you can. What about you? What if the attackers come back? You have no way of contacting us. We can handle it. Our engines are down, not our shields or weapons. Proceed to the Concordia, now. That's an order. That's a mistake, isn't it? Yep, this is going to be a bad thing. Maybe. Maybe, there we go. Oh, 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 uh-oh. What's happening? Hit M to open the star chart. Okay. Uh, zoom out. Zoom in. I don't know where I need to go. I guess this is where our main mission is, so we need to go here. And then... Right mouse button to go. I, core set. Engaging sublight. Then we close this out. Are we gonna 
I hit things? I'm so scared. No, we, we didn't hit anything. Concordia salutes you, Captain. A wise man knows when to back out. We'll paint your interior red. Okay. So you like to gamble, eh? Like, the star station should be more than fine, right, to deal with this stuff. A couple small ships. Like, it seems like a bad idea. What are you doing here, Cyrene? Where's the Icarus? Their comrade is damaged, but overall they're in good condition. The captain sent us here to assist. Assist with what? There was a handful of ships, and the Ferranos security took care of them. Wait, uh, how was the d array damaged? One of the ships attacking us did a kamikaze on the Icarus. Tara, the Icarus Kamare is not exposed. I can hardly envision a way a ship slamming into the Icarus could have any impact on the Kamare. Concordia all ships, proceed to the Icarus's last known position. Use jump capability if possible. Higgs, can the Siren jump? Negative. The drive has no charges. Wait, are you thinking sabotage? No time for that. Come closer and use the transporter. I'm sending over the coordinates of the transport platform. Uh, okay. Open the context, blah, 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 blah. All right. Oop, don't shoot. Um, that's what we... No, that's not what I want either. Uh, transport. Some personnel to the target object. Uh, okay. Ludicrous speed. All right, so we're jumping back in to try to save the Icarus here. It's clearly a, a bad Juju Magumbo situation. Uh, I think we are getting back in right now. And let's see what's up. Oh, the Icarus is not in a good spot. No. No, that's not possible. Siren, situation report. Icarus. Concordia. The Icarus has been destroyed. Siren to all ships. The Kerns are trying to run away. After them, let no one escape. Cyrene, that's a negative. Cyrene! Terra, no. We'll have our payback later. You need to search for survivors. I can't... We can't let the commander die like this. Not like this. You're right. Fleet, disengage and search for survivors. Well, that's Scan just poopy. every inch of this debris field. Rescue as many people as possible, but your priorities are Exel Harcrow and the Commander. Exel Harcrow and the Commander? I don't know who either of those people... Well, I know who the Commander is, but... Huh. So getting used to the controls is going to be a bit rough for me. I may have located the Commander's escape pod. The Commander's in there? Oh, hey, I guess we get to be the commander. Last I checked, I was a male. I was not a female. I will go through all the... I mean, there's not a gigantic ton of these uh, portraits. So I'll go through all of them so you guys can see what's up. Let's give you guys something to look at here, the different portraits. So if you guys are deciding that you want to get the game, you guys can be like, Hey, I like that guy, or I like that girl. That's the person I'd be. Eh... Mm. Mm. I guess I'll go with him, why not? My name is Jane Blackwell, ladies and gentlemen. It is not Jane Blackwell. Little known fact, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Now, I'm not sure what the... Sorry, I'm not sure what the different classes are. I guess it tells us here. The Vanguard is a class best utilized in close quarters, capable of ramming enemies, pulling them in, and blasting them away. That's interesting. Passive light weapon damage is increased the closer you are to your target. Shotgun shoots dozens of explosive shots in a cone. Ram charges the enemy at high speed. Gravity pulls enemies closer to you, and overload deals damage in a large area. We have the Sharpshooter. The Sharpshooter class is a long-range, long high-burst damage dealer capable of pushing enemies away, creating a holographic copy of your ship, and a disturbing or distributing a damage across multiple targets. Passive light weapon damage is increased the further away you are from your target. Fire a destructive bolt at the enemies or precision shot. Hollow decoy, create a holographic copy of your ship to draw away enemy fire. 
Push enemies away from your ship and warhead. Blast your enemies in a large radius with a destructive warhead. The Marauder is a sabotaging sneak attack class which utilizes cloaking technology, single shot finishing blows, and the disabling and weakening of enemy ships. The passive adds an additional chance to deal critical damage with light weapons. Expose a short range detonation that weakens the target's defenses. Cloak, enter the cloak state to avoid detection. Disable a close quarters blast that disables the target for short duration. And finally, execute a short range single target attack which bypasses shields and deals more damage to weaker enemies. I like how it's kind of like like a ranged, like, a, like an archer or something, right? That's a sharpshooter. Then you have like the, the frontline tank, the vanguard. He goes in, he like smashes stuff, pulls people in, crushes them. It's kind of like melee combat, and then this guy is more like an assassin, like a stealth sneaky has to get close range and do all this stuff. It's kind of like traditional RPG classes, but with ships. It's weird. It's interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Back to the Vanguard. I think I'm going to go with the Sharpshooter. Give it a shot. It's probably not going to be the best for me. You guys saw how amazing I was at aiming at things and doing stuff. Once I'm a little bit more familiar with the controls and everything else, I think it's going to be a lot better. We're going to hop in here. We're going to finish... Subject life signs, deteriorating, critical condition imminent, begin automated medical administration, accessing medical records. Error data corruption detected, initializing secondary recognition protocols. Oh yes, yeah, so we get to basically create our character, so this is going to be cool, and it shows us diplomacy perk. Uh, diplomacy 1 perk unlocks new conversation options, freelancer perk, increased freelance job rewards, and merchant perk. I'm going to go with a freelancer perk. You guys can pause and read. I'm going to just kind of streamline this a little bit. Uh, or I'll just read the one that I'm going to actually choose. Image depicts two figures conducting some business as of haggling. After a hearty handshake, one of the figures places a palm on a data slab. An agreement has been made, a job assigned. The header of the digital document states simply a freelance commission. Cross-referencing images through local data network. 25% probability of positive identity match. Probability is below the threshold. Applying Cortex Stimuli for more data. All right, we can get the Privateer perk. Improves your boarding ability. We get the Tactical Appraisal 1 perk. Shows more info on targets. Or the Lab Rat perk. Conduct research faster. I think I'm going to go with the Tactical Appraisal. A stream of thoughts... Sorry, a stream of thought flows through the subject's unconscious mind. Learn how to recognize your enemy's weakness. Recruit. See the pattern. Cross-referencing images through the local data network. 55% probability of a positive identity match. The probability is below the threshold. More, 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 more. All right, then we get the fixer one. Faster system repairs unlocks repairing structures. Hacking, improved hacking check. And then environmentalist perk. Better defense while in asteroid fields, junkyards, and nebulas. I'm going to go with the fixer perk. An image forms deep in the subconscious mind of the subject. A picture of a person observing oneself in the mirror wearing a formal military outfit with the emblem 22nd Engineering Fleet. All right, cross-referencing, 97 probability of positive identity match as McSquiggum's Bumpy Mail Concordia Station Administrator uh, accessing records through local blah, 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 blah. Su subject stabilized, we're good to go. Concordia, we found the commander, but he is in critical condition. The pod's medical is keeping him alive. Barely. It's all your fault. I personally join the search and rescue, but we can't risk losing him. Get that pod to Fineros as fast as you can, Terra. Yep. Bring me to Fineros. Alright, this is more or less right where we left off in the, I think, the early access coverage of the game. So, we're pretty much back on, back at square one. So, we'll read through this, and once we get to an actual stopping point where I can do a save, we'll stop there, and then we will continue on. I'm pretty excited. The game looks sharper, better than ever. The controls feel good. It looks much more smooth. They've redone, re-cleaned up, or just re-voice acted all the lines. It's no longer the Icarus on some of them, the Icarus on others. I mean, the pronunciation's pretty, you know, I don't want to say straightforward, but uh, continuous or the same across everybody's different speech patterns. It's good. They've done a lot to make the game ready for full release, and it looks really good in full release. So let's see here. Good to see you on your feet, Commander. For a moment, we thought we'd lost you. We weren't sure if you'd made it off the Icarus until Tara found your escape pod. Harcrow sent me down to engineering after the first attack to see if I can figure out what went wrong with the comms. Next thing I remember is waking up in the infirmary on uh, Fineros. 
You clearly got into an escape pod somehow. You were in pretty bad shape. The pod's med bay patched you up until we could get to you. Well, it's a good thing you installed them. What about Harcrow? Did he make it out? No, it doesn't seem so. We didn't find his body, but the Icarus was just a burning wreck at that point. Did you get anything from the Icarus's log? No, we didn't manage to save anything of value from it. You're one of the few survivors. The blessing in this whole mess is that the Icarus was running on a skeleton crew. We don't have much to go on, do we? What else has been going on while I was out? Well, what do you want to know? Who are you again? Where does the council stand on this whole thing? Am I still in control of Concordia? You said Tara found me. Where is she now? I'd like to thank her. Who are you again? You're kidding, right? I thought the doctors cleared you. Don't tell them uh, don't tell them you asked us or they'll put you right back in the hospital ward. In any case, I'm Rainer Trace. We've known each other for a long time, back when we were both in the solar system. Did we work together? I have to tell you, Commander, this doesn't look good. Yeah, we worked together on the Leviathan project. You ran the station, but that's as far as I'll go with this. Maybe it's better you forget some things. I'm sure my memory... I'll get my memory back completely, especially if I jog it a bit like this. Give me the, the sit rep. Uh, I'm just messing with you, Ray. There's nothing wrong. What's been going on while I was out? Uh, where does the council stand on this whole thing? Am I still in control? Well, I'll say it straight. The council isn't happy with what happened to the Icarus. They're pretty much pointing the finger at you. They can't seriously think I had anything to do with it, can they? I worked on the damn thing. I don't think you actually did it, but they're saying you messed up because organizing security was on your shoulders. So where does that leave me now? Well, I've managed to convince them to at least give you another chance. I've got a ship waiting for you in orbit, one of the gunship class. Meet with me on Concordia, and we'll talk more once you're there. Will do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this first episode of a Star Point Gemini Warlords. It's a fantastic game. I'm really looking forward to playing it more. It's so much cleaner and nicer. It's definitely much better now that it's fully released. And like I said, I'm looking forward to continuing. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that. And if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of the wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links. Until the very next episode, folks, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will... See you later.